Work. Sorry to ask, what is it like working as a kitchen assistant? Here? Okay. Um, you work in the kitchen, so mainly you're going to help them to wash their plates, you're going to help them serve the kids sometimes. guys once again welcome to my channel my name is chinere as you already know yes today i have with me um ella. yeah ella yeah dami okay and uh both of you are students here yeah. in teesside university isn't it so this is actually meant to enlighten most students coming in as freshers mm. you know a lot of people tend to like uh, spend two three months here seeking for professional jobs especially those who have uh, studied in their home country who already have uh, degrees in their home countries i mean when i talk about countries any of the african countries you know they tend to select the picky when looking for a job here in the uk so ella and um Dami. Dami, they are here to share with us some of the jobs they have done in the UK as uh, students and also what they like about this job. Can you, can we start with you first? Yeah, hello. Um, when I came newly into the UK, I did the care job. I'm sure a lot of you know what the care job is. Um, I worked in a care home. I've okay. worked um, as a domiciliary carer. I've also worked as a kitchen assistant. No. <laughs> then um, I've also worked... Sorry to ask, what is it like working as a kitchen assistant here? Okay. Um, you work in the kitchen, so mainly you're going to help them to wash their plates. You're going to help them serve the kids sometimes. You're going to help them the mop kids. the kitchen floors. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. In what setting? Is that in the school? Yeah, in secondary NHS? schools. In secondary schools. Okay, but the dishes you washed or you wash... Yeah hand or machine so it's usually passes through a washer but you know sometimes it's just like putting dishes in a dishwasher you have to wash off the first layer first well there are some you have to wash with your hands so your hands will be in water for like four hours straight up so what i used to do then i usually like to wear gloves because i don't want my hands dipped in water so much okay you mentioned care as the first job you did here um what sort of care um i've um home care okay. and domiciliary care so home care like you go to care homes different care homes because i was working with an agency okay they so send you to yeah they, they send me to different care homes then at some point i moved into domiciliary domiciliary care where you move from house to house all right yeah uh, so let's hear from that maybe before i come yeah, back to you because right. i know you've done more yeah yeah, yeah. all right when i got to the country newly I got a job as a warehouse um, operator. operator. Yeah, yes, I've actually worked in warehouse too. Oh my God, <laughs> I've worked oh, done a lot. I was working with know. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. Oh. <laughs> so I did Amazon for about three months. It was a three months contract. The one in Darlington. The one in yeah. Darlington. Oh, okay. So I was packing. Packaging oh, department. I was picking. Yeah, oh, I was picking. picking. Oh, really? Yeah, I was picking. Ah. Going up and down, picking. It was How stressful. Was the job? It was hmm. stressful, but. Uh, Having to stand up for how many for hours? Eight hours, hours straight. straight. Hours. And if you have a 10 hour shift, you have to stand for 10 hours straight picking. What was the pay like? Uh, the pay was uh, as at then, it was, they, I think the minimum wage was 9 point something then. Yeah, right. But they were paying 10.5. So it was okay. okay. Any other job you've done here since you came? Yeah, I've done care jobs. Uh, oh, everybody. Yeah. Almost everybody in the UK, I have done right? support worker. I've worked with home. I've, I've done home. Care, then okay. I, I haven't done domiciliary, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But I've done, um, I've worked in care homes currently. What kind of job are you doing? Support worker. Okay, how long have you been here? Been here for um, a year, six yes. months. Okay, a year, six months, and uh, I've been a nanny, I've been a child oh, really? minder. Yeah, By a nanny in a school, <laughs> wow, <laughs> or home, someone's home, someone's home in a school. You know, oh, I've been a kitchen oh, porter. Ah, so are you doing master's now or you're doing um 
masters, masters. I'm almost, I'm rounding up with my masters program. So. You've also worked as a kitchen porter. Just okay, kitchen porter is it's the same, same thing as care, same. kitchen assistant. Well, kitchen oh. assistant, yeah. In a care home, actually. So um, okay. There we we say we wash plates, use the okay. dishwash, and all that. Yeah. We that that's majorly what kitchen porter. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Can you share more of the jobs you've done, Ella? Um. Yeah. Funny enough, the first job I did when I came to the UK was actually working as an um, a warehouse operative in oh, okay. Amazon, okay. but I, I didn't do it the for long. One. Yeah, I didn't do it for long because of the time. I, I usually close late, like almost 12, and coming back, like my auntie said, it, it wasn't safe for a woman, sure. so I had to go um, and do the care. But right now, I work as a pharmacy assistant oh, in really? the pharmacy. Which... Are you studying pharmacy? No, no, no. I'm doing my master's in yeah. fine art, but I have a degree in pharmacy. But back just, home in Nigeria? Yeah. Come on, the switch. I know, right? Okay, my passion. I love painting. I'm a creative person. You look it already. <laughs> I'm a creative <laughs> person. Say. So I love painting and it's something I want to pursue. Like, do you get? But I feel like I could do both of them at the same time. Sure. So I'm like, okay, pending the time I'm doing my master's in fine art, let me also be working in a pharmacy so that I can probably later in the future do my conversion. Okay. To work your current program, pharmacist. the master's is two years or one year? It's two years. And you're almost done? Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm rounding up soon. So how are you finding it's over? Because hmm. I've seen some of your paintings there. They look beautiful. Well, I'll show them later ah, on. Thank you. <laughs> well, coming to the UK, doing master's and working at the same time, seriously, I say for those of us that we are single, I, I feel like it's more stressful than those who come like when you yeah when you come with your dependent at least you know that you have a shoulder to lean on yes we have our family to lean on back and yeah. over well, it's always well, nice when you have somebody here some of us don't like have you get <laughs> somebody here to lean on so seriously are I'm, you guys I'm, saying you don't have boyfriends sorry, i'm don't. single i'm so single <laughs> sorry i'm bringing in that sorry <laughs> but yeah it, it's been it's been is it difficult finding someone to hang out with here yeah i don't think it's difficult i feel like it's just you finding someone who you guys share the same values okay. do you get and sometimes you it doesn't it, it doesn't time, come easy like that yeah, yeah and so yeah your might be going on a um, might be going to work for a shift and you're busy yeah on your free day so it doesn't mm-hmm. okay happen. okay having listed the kind of uh jobs you guys have done here so far do you have um any sort of dislike, any one of them that you dislike so much, doing? Hmm. Well, one thing I've learned coming to work in the UK is that they're going to take every hour they're paying you for. So if you're working eight hours, just know that you're working eight hours. If you're working eight hours standing, you're going to work eight hours standing straight. So it's tiring. Me usually back at home in Nigeria, I, I, I was someone that didn't like popping pills. When I mean popping pills, I mean taking um and um an adjustic like paracetamol and all that and sometimes i just see myself really tired so yeah there are some jobs that i don't like doing definitely care i love taking care of people mm-hmm. yeah but that just sometimes like you don't just want to keep seeing yourself doing that kind of job like sure. jige because especially if you have a good degree back home exactly. and you're coming here you to don't want to way. yeah my last don't interview want to... was with a doctor that did the support work before she finally started working as with... a doctor yes. you see so sometimes people don't have any choice you just have to do that pending the time you're able to get yourself just like the doctor that you said yes. you spoke to like you get yourself yeah. and and all that but i love caring for people in as much as i don't like care guess what I actually like it because of my clients because I'm a caring person. I love sure. to care for people, and but I just so but, yeah. <laughs> but it's just that sometimes there's some experiences that you have that will just make you. There are several times I've cried on my job because of the experiences I've had with some clients. Or you know, but yeah. Were you working back home before? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was That's working so... as a pharmacist before I came to the UK to <laughs> to study fine arts. Yeah, yeah. but. I know people will be like, and hey, why would you leave pharmacy for fine art? Fine art is my passion. Sure, I love to you follow your passion. Yeah. Yes. So you can as well switch or do both, like you stated. Yeah, yeah, earlier. yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to do both. Yeah. So then, were you working back home before you came? Yeah, home? I was a fashion designer. Was really? Fashion. Can you make some dresses for me now? That's what I do. <laughs> you do <laughs> it for people here, yeah, right? Yeah, I do it when I was 
back home, I do it here. Yeah. That's what Good. I'm studying. Side now. hustle. It's not a side hustle. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not the your main profession. hustle. The main, <laughs> it's the main thing I do right now because I'll be graduating pretty soon and I'll be fully into designing. You studied it back home? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. My first degree was in um, agricultural science. So I am a farmer, mm-hmm. a fashion designer, and a carer. <laughs> you know, that's nice. so, so what is it like studying uh, fashion um designing in this country is it fashion designing or fashion design <clears throat> fashion Which, designing fashion designing you know all the facilities and materials to work with are they readily you available everything to work with do like, you pay for some of these materials like we would yeah you back pay for home? your own materials if you want to make something for if you want to make anything the only thing you're entitled to is the um cheap fabric that you can use for for mock-up oh okay. yeah the mock-up fabrics and cheap fab that you can use as examples not oh, something right. you can actually wear oh. so those are exact that's what you can get free in school all, all the right. machines the sewing the printing and everything is back in school is free the only challenge you have is uh you have all the the materials you have all the machines you can go and you can t- just teach yourself. No one is teaching you. Really? Yeah. There's no one teaching you to do all those things. You're just teaching yourself. Go there and like go and use here it. here or back at home in Nigeria? Yeah. Oh, okay. Back at home. You don't have all the <laughs> machines. So you can't, you just, you know, I'm, I was on my own back when I was in Nigeria. So I could teach myself. But yeah, I'm, I'm paying here yeah, mm. someone to teach me. To teach oh, you. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true. but what I get is the... Is all the machines for me to use to teach myself. Do you watch uh, like a video before you can do that? Or you just see the machines and start working on that? Like a novice, somebody who is a novice coming in. Someone is, the you have to be inducted it, into right? using those machines. Okay. So we get inducted and the certifiers that we can use the machine. What I'm particular about is teach you how to do the designs and all that. But we don't really get to... You don't really get to that part where they teach us to do the designs. You have to, yeah, yeah mm. you have to do it Figure yourself. Figure it out yourself. It out it allow yourself. you to be that creative. You Figure know. it out yourself and uh, use the available machines to create something for yourself. Wow, you know, that's... that was the same thing I thought when I came here, like as an as a fine artist, that they were going to teach you teach some you. tricks when you mm-hmm. need to paint. Thing. But I just realized that here, yeah, no, maybe because it's masters, they want you like, to be you know, creative. like yeah, masters yeah. is like Why self, to self. Let it be your own be, work. Yeah, I think because it's masters, because masters is self focused. Yeah, yeah, unlike BA, where they are there to teach it's you the nitty gritty. Yeah, I think I so. That, that's right. All right, thank you so much, um, Ella and Dami, for sharing mm-hmm. your work experiences so far. I would like to also ask, what advice would you dish out to those? Freshers coming in who would sit at home and be looking for professional jobs to do. Don't be discouraged. Just go for it. Of course, you're going to. You are still. You are going to do some unexpected and unfortunate. You will get some unfortunately. <laughs> Lots of unfortunately. <laughs> and sure. you have to get some um some media uh, some. <laughs> should I say you'll be called mediocre when you're back home? Yeah, when you look at. What you're doing back home to mm-hmm. what you're doing here yeah so you the feel switch. like a mediocre you will feel small you'll feel a little it's but there. in those small small process that is when you you become the you achieve mm-hmm. the money <laughs> you achieve what you want and you get that gather experience to apply for something better and get something better. yeah That's it's, it's all a process sure. sure well what me our advice now like if i knew back then i think it would be good for you to invest in skills like tech skills okay. tech skills like digital marketing things that you can do from the comfort of your home do you get yeah. those those little little skills like they tell you now like um your nine to five sometimes cannot usually pay your bills so before you come pending the time you are able to get an office job if you have those skills those um transferable skills that you can do like even if it's in design digital marketing um data analysis and all that those little little um skills that you can do depending the time or well the skills that you can do or get like online jobs you get 
spending the time you get an office work it will really really go a long way sure yeah it will it will go a long way pending the time you come because you, you pay bills here monthly and exactly. you would not want to be converting naira to pay your bills Do and you the get? island they've stopped paying um school fees by installments isn't it um hmm. well it was seven months installments when we came and the second year they switched it up to three months so i don't know what is like for the new income mm -hmm. okay. the new intake now for they switch it up for us to three months installment and just pretty hard yeah it, it was just in fact well that's all right anyway thank you very much ladies yes i really appreciate doing this with you and uh, i wish <laughs> to see more of you talk to you guys again yeah yeah thank you bye, bye. come on can we do a thumbnail please <laughs> What's that? Thumbnail for the video. Oh, okay. Thumbnail, you know? <laughs> yeah.